What is up guys, Kevin over at Leg Bros coming back at you with another video today. We have a couple different orders here. We'll probably do it all in one video because these should be pretty short, I believe. We'll get through it as much as we can anyways. This is just a single set that I had one on eBay. Uh, and then these are three Bricklink orders. So uh, if you guys are new here, definitely smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, share with your friend. We are growing steadily, slower than before, but still steadily. Uh, actually, eh, let's save the set. Let's save the set to last because that's exciting. Let's go ahead and open up a couple of these Bricklink orders. Some resupplies here. In this episode of What's Kevin Ordering? <laughs> uh, the customer service order. Something like that. Oh, this wasn't even part of them. That's just some, some sweet. <laughs> okay. It was a note that said, thank you for your repeat business. Uh... I don't know what that address was, so I'm not going to bother blowing it out because I don't even know what it was for. Uh, so this was a whole bunch of stuff. It was all in one bag, so that's greatly appreciated. I don't have to unbag a whole bunch of different things. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive in here and see. A lot of this was mostly these things. I needed a whole bunch of these for the snakes. So I think I got every single type of them because I just need... Oh, oh that one's just gone forever. <laughs> I'm never going to find that one. It's like... Uh, oh, dear. Okay, I found it. All right, so we got all four of these little snake, serpentine, Ninjago, uh, what do you call them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. They go on the end of the staffs, though. Uh, we got a whole bunch of these as well, these little claws, some Ninjago swords, Ninjago swords. Uh, these ones are like the medical droid legs. I got a whole bunch of those. Got some Indiana Jones whips. Uh, we have a couple of these as well. I think there's like four or five of these. Needed these for some Star Lords that I had, um, that I had posted with blasters. We got some black lightsaber blades just because they were super cheap, so I just threw those into the mix. If there's anything that I order normally and it's just super cheap on the store, I'll just add them even if I don't need them. And I think that was about it for these. We did have one of these helmets as well. Anaconda guys. I think that's it. I don't think there was anything else spectacular in here. Got one of these as well. Mostly I came to the store just for um, the Ninjago things, these little serpentine things, discs. So nothing super exciting there, but it should do the store very well as I'll be able to complete a bunch of snake lots that I needed those for. Um, I had the whole lot completed. I had every single figure and it was just missing an accessory to be the same as the post that I had used before. So uh, I was just basically waiting on those to actually post a whole bunch of stuff. So some snakes will be incoming here shortly if you guys were looking for those. Stores.ebay.com slash legbros if you didn't know already. That's where you can find all that stuff. Let's go ahead and dive into the second box. Uh, I'm going to open it up over here just so we don't have that same... <laughs> that same issue as we just experienced where a random address might pop up or something like that specifically so we'll keep that secret keep it safe the precious Let's see if there's any paper in here doesn't look like it. This was a gigantic order. I've ordered from this store before as well. I think this is all fi all things figured out on Bricklink. They just, anytime they have, they have like a $50 minimum order, but they have so much stuff at good prices that I just, just buy everything <laughs> all the time. As you can see, I ordered this after the other one and they ended up having a whole bunch of these as well. So that was kind of a bummer, but you know, I'll be able to use them. So no hard feelings there at all. I do have a whole bunch of these Ninjago hats. I needed these tan ones especially, uh, but I did get the dark red and the purple uh, in there as well. Lightsaber blades, just blue and red. I think I got like a hundred of each. Um, we also had some bows, black and brown, reddish brown, I should say. The uh, different version, the Lord of the Rings bows, a little bit longer. We have some woo beards uh, and then also some Ninjago armor. This one was a Time Twin set of legs, I believe. Needed one of those. Got some Minecraft swords, uh, some Ninjago ghost swords. These ones are good. These are the Buckbeak wings, so I got a couple of those as well. Super duper duper hard to find. 
um, and I have a whole bunch of buck beaks. This one was kind of why I came to the store. Uh, he was selling a Darth Malgus cape, and I have like three Darth Malguses with no cape. And I'm not going to sell them without a cape, so uh, that was awesome to find that. I think I paid like $10 for this cape. It's crazy. It is crazy. But, I mean, it's like a $60 figure, so if you don't have the cape, I mean, you don't have the figure. Uh, we have some guns, just, or blasters, I should say. Uh, just because anytime there's blasters, I buy them, <laughs> if they're the right price anyway. Uh, other kinds of, of uh, blasters there as well. And then also some of these, we got those in the Brickland order. As you see, there's some similarities because they ordered the other one before I went to this store and found a whole bunch of stuff. We also have some Lord of the Rings uh, Hobbit swords, more Anacondra swords. Uh, these ones are all just Batman faces, like the old school Batman face, um, and then just regular clone, angry face clone faces. Those have gotten cheap nowadays. Um, we have some Luke hair, both the old school and new school versions. Of course, lightsaber hilts. Uh, I don't know what's in... Oh, those are... So there's chrome hilts in there, and then there's also the regular standard hilts. Then just a whole mess of these. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to order these anytime soon. I mean, they were only like 15, 10 cents, 15 cents a piece, so not bad there anyway to get those. Uh, some Wolverine claws. Grievous arms. I order those anytime because I always get Grievous bodies missing arms, so I order those anytime I can find them. Uh, these were Heartbreaker armor... Uh, masks, and I have, I think, two or three of them that I needed, so I just ordered an extra one because he had three of them. So I think I bought him out of those. Um, I usually sell the, sell the Minecraft skeletons with bows, uh, so I got some Minecraft bows, and then we got some Captain Blasters, and these are for Yondu from the Guardians of the Galaxy. So uh, definitely a great haul from him. I, I spend like $200 every single time I visit that store. It's it's dangerous. I think uh, Derek at Pop's Block Shock does the same thing. He, he buys out the stuff that I don't buy uh, usually, or if he gets there first after a restock, then he buys all the stuff that I need. Um, so that's <laughs> that's always something. I have to keep that cape. Yeah, I'll just put it in there. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It's in perfect condition though. I love that store. Uh, even though it's a $50 minimum buy, I don't even come close to that. Like I just blow $50 out of the water every single time I order from them. So it's definitely a good store. Don't check it out because then you'll buy all the stuff that I need. <laughs> uh, I promise you, you probably will. And that wouldn't be good for me. No, just kidding. They're a good store. Um, I think they get enough business though. <laughs> I think like every reseller uses them. They have great stuff though. All right, this one has a packing slip, so I'm going to take that out first, just in case there's anything on there. Okay. This should be very, very easy and very, very simple. Oh, 500 blasters. If you guys had seen the streams, this was where I was on blasters, and now I have 500 and I think 70 something from the other lot. Um, but 500 blasters was definitely a well-needed upgrade from the blasters point of view So we are good for those now I usually include these with troops and a lot of times I just don't get accessories with figure packs. So um, Always need to order these if they're under 35 cents usually that's where my buy point is uh, If they have a ton of them, they're like 35 cents a piece then I'll buy them um, just because generally the additional value of the sets that I put them in is usually about 50 cents. So uh, usually I'm making about 15 cents on each one of them uh, at the end of the day. So uh, that is going to be awesome. Now let's go ahead and get into our set. And again, we'll make sure there's no packing slip or anything like that. This one, I don't remember. I know it was okay. I think I got this for $40 shipped after shipping. Um, and we'll see if that's a good deal or not. I, I, I'm not sure. There was a paper in there. So we'll take that out. Uh, we also have a little, little comic. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay. That looked like it was probably... All right. Cool. All right, that was a little bit dark. <laughs> I thought. Uh, interesting. Okay. So this is the seven six zero four nine 
Uh, I don't know what they called it, a Quinjet or something to that effect. Really, I only look at this for the minifigures. So the jet is whatever. I've never actually built the jet or had the jet, but the jet was there. I think, I don't know if it was missing a piece or not. Uh, I don't really care. I'll probably sell the figures independently. I'm not quite sure yet, 100%. But really what I wanted to look for was the figures of this set specifically. So that's what we will pull out here. It's got a strong perfumey smell we might have to wash off. Uh, we have Thanos, of course. I think that was the first set that Thanos came out of. Uh, Hyperion, unfortunately he's worth like zero dollars. I'm not sure why that's the case, but he is not worth very much. His cape is not really in great shape either, but that's okay. The only one I really care about that should pay for the entire lot is this one. The Space Iron Man. I was hoping he is not cracked or anything. He looks like he's in fantastic condition. So that is amazing. That guy will pay for the whole lot. Uh, and then the rest of the figures are bonus. The other figure that's in here that's valuable besides Thanos is Captain Marvel uh, with both of her heads. I'm guessing her other head is in here somewhere. Um, and then we also have a Captain America that's not too bad in value. I think he's like $10 or something to that effect. I'm sure the other head's in here too. Um, but needless to say, uh, I will build this up or actually inventory it. I don't even know how I build it up. It's almost built up anyway. I'll inventory it, probably sell the jet separately from the figures. I haven't really quite 100% decided, but that's most likely what will happen. Uh, just because this guy fetches more money than if you buy the, sell the set, <laughs> which is kind of strange, um, but you know, <laughs> I guess people just want the Iron Man, uh, and, and that's it. So that was a great haul. Should get some nice, solid sales there, uh, especially with some brickling things I'll be able to complete at that. Go ahead and comment below what your favorite of today was. Mine's going to be that Space Iron Man. Haven't gotten him in the store for a very, very long time. Uh, so, you know, ultimately, uh, that's going to do quite well. So, again, love you guys. Check out the store if you have not already. You can always contact me on Instagram. Uh, Leg Rose with a zero. Love you guys. Smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.